In today's video, we're pitting my top two favorite cards, the Pequeno Moth and the Chicolates against each other. What's up, guys? We are back with another battle video where I have 24 Judgment of the Light and a booster box of 25th Anniversary Metal Raiders. We are doing a very special battle where I am pitting my top two favorite cards, which you guys know as the Pequeno Moth from Metal Raiders and the Chicolates from Judgment of the Light in an epic battle. There will be three ways to score points in this video. First, the most value pulled versus Judgment of the Light and Metal Raiders, the winner of that will get one point. Secondly, if you pull more foils, you get another point. So that's a total of two points. And the final way to score points is more Pequeno Moth or more Chicolates pulled. So if you have seven Pequeno Moth and five Chicolates, Metal Raiders will get a point. So there's going to be three total points. You can win three, nothing, two, one, you know, whatever it happens, happens. And we also have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three Judgment of the Light packs. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. Will the Pequeno Moth side or the Chicolates side win. I want to hear who you think will win and what the score will be. All right, let the battle begin. Let's start off with Judgment of the Light. Who will win? I've never done this before. A little battle between our favorite sets. I think it's three from the back for Judgment of the Light. We have Sonic God of Soul, Revenge Shuffle. We have Sonic Boom, Umbral Horror. We have Landing, Vein Betrayer. There's a Ghost Rare potential in Judgment of the Light, so that would be pretty big for the battle. And Super Defensive Robot Leo. So keep in mind, three different ways to score points in this battle. It's not just value. It's about the number of foils. It's about the number of awesome cards like the Pequeno Moth versus the Chicolate. So I'll see three from the back on both of these. So that should make it easy not to mess it up. More and Finn, we have Mystic Lamp. I say that. I'll still mess it up. Oh, I just threw a card. The Cheerful Coffin. That was not a Pequeno Moth. Swamp Battle Guard. Grande Moth doesn't count, unfortunately. It's a version of the Moth, but it's not the Moth and a Sword of the Deep Seated, so nothing in that one. So far, we have a Grande Moth, which is a nice pull. I'm not mad about that one. Second time we are opening Judgment of the Light. Can we get the Ghost Rare Star Eater? Ultimate Rare anything would be pretty amazing. Sonic Boom, I gotta double check we're recording everything because the other day I recorded an hour muted, and then the next video I did, which was right after that, I recorded, I was talking about how I recorded it muted, and it wasn't muted that time, but I recorded my hand cam in slow mode. <laughs> so, yeah, it was it. That's all been it's been a rough day. Let me just say that we have block attack. I'm going to try to finish it with an epic video where I actually record everything correctly. Still Scorpion Oguchi, Muka Muka and Guardian of the Labyrinth. There's not been a foil yet. This is quite the slow start. That is for sure. Here's the difference between these two Metal Raiders out of a booster box. These were random, so they are random packs. Uh, they came out of deluxe editions, so they're kind of more like special editions. You never really know what kind of ratios you're going to get. So that is going to make it interesting to see which will win. Is it the more the consistent one or the more random one? There's Pot of Duality in that, in that card. We have Colt Wing. We have Kieran. And our first foil. Okay. Random Miss Strikes first with Bujinki Quillen, the first way to score points. So not only they have a foil, hopefully this is over a dollar and then they actually have some money there. And they might have just taken the lead. Okay. First pull has been struck. I don't even know. I was going to say first blood, but that sounds a little aggressive. It does have a sword on him, though, so that's pretty... Uh, Pretty crazy. So speaking of swords, okay, that's kind of weird. Rainbow Prevent Rat, we have Thunderball. Cheerful Cop, we got Water Amotics with the shirt on. Unhappy Maiden, Shadow Ghoul, and Bottom Dweller. The Dweller in the bottom, oh my goodness. We're doing our best here, guys, but guess what? Not many pulls so far. Bujingi Turtle, Googly Eyes Drum Dragon, Ophidion, Colt Wing, Ruxin Special, Xyz Agent, another Ruxin Special. That Intercept Tomato doesn't want to be pulled. It's an epic card, but that does not count. Moon Dance Ritual. Oh, what a shape, sister. All right. I always pull this one out of the Judgment of the Light, too. Always out of Judgment of the Light, not the Judgment of the Light. Sometimes I'll say, like, the Judgment, or I'll say I'll add, like, an S at the end. People get really triggered by that. And most of the time, it's just, like, you're talking a lot, you know? And then people, you know, talking a lot. That could, that could, <laughs> there could be an email after that if you talk too much. Hey, Roxanne, you've been talking too much in your videos. Soul release. We have Jirai Gumo, Robin Goblin. Can we get a Metal Raiders card? No, we can't. Dream Cloud. We have not pulled up a Pequeno Moth or a Chicolates. I'm telling you guys, the rarest cards in the game. I mean, it's hard to pull them. One, two, three. Let's see if Judgment Light can take a big lead here. We have the sword. Right now, they have, a, I mean, a 2 nothing foil lead, which could make it pretty crazy. Number 104 and... Oh, a 
secret rare angel of Zara. Okay, that is gonna, okay, three foils to zero. And also, I'm guessing a secret rare might be over a dollar, hopefully, because those other ones might not. So I don't even know if they've scored. I don't know if anybody scored any any value yet, which means it would only be the foil lead, and that would be the only difference. Larva, the cousin moths, we'll pull that out. It doesn't actually count. Rock Ogre, Genzo number seven, Lava Battle Guard, Soul Release, Starboy, and uh, Guardian of the Labyrinth, who will prove that they are the best channel mascot. Will it be the Pequeno? Will it be the Chicolates? Let me know in the comments which you believe is the best. We have Super Defense Robot, Star Seraph, because right now Metal Raiders is not showing up. The thing is, it's a booster box, so we are pretty certain that eventually it will pull something. V Salamander and Umbral Horror Willow the Wisp. We gotta get that burn. Gotta half the attack of the Pequeno Moth using Willow Wisp. Will it work? One, two, three from the back. <sighs> Pump King, the King of Ghosts. Guiltia, Ruxin Special. Ring of Magnetism, Feral Imp. We have Doma. Crown Attacker, Bug Roth, Ruxin Special in our first foil. No Pequeno still, but we have a twin headed Thunder Dragon. That is something. That makes it 3-1 foils. Metal Raiders has officially scored. But here's the thing. They might have scored, but they're still not 3-1 in that category. The other categories, I think, might be tied. Uh, let's see. Mega Phantom Beast. We have Umbral Horror, Fishborg Archer. Yeah, the other two. Well, one's definitely tied. The price, I'm not sure. We have Chimera Clad and the Willow, the Wisp. Back at it. Yeah, they're 100%. <laughs> we know we haven't pulled a Pequeno or a Chicolates. That's for sure. I mean, we've pulled like Pequeno's cousin and the uh, Grande, the Daddy. Daddy Moth. We have Disc Magician. Faceless Mage. We have Illusions. Kojikaze, Launcher Spider. All it takes is one pull. It could turn it around. Lady de Fe. That would have been cool if that was a Pequeno. Right in the hollow slot. Come on. One, two, three. We need something. Googly Eyes, Drum Dragon. Xyz. Bujingi Warg. The Warg Riders. Bujin Fidel. Super Defense Robots. Number 102 and Spell Recycler. Wow. How many packs have we opened and we have not pulled a single one of the cards? We're just going to keep going and hope. Metal Raiders is a really big set, so that's one thing. Metal Raiders has like 126 or 7 cards in it, I think. Killer Needle, so that could be why. More Finn, we have Throne, German Faction, Warrior, Yasube, Princess of Sarugi, and a Lady de Fe hanging out in that same slot. <sighs> Chicolates, I mean, wow, this is uh, this is an intense battle in the wrong way. We're not pulling either of them. Trap tricks. Come on, baby. Googly eyes. Bougin Fidel. We want to sing that Chicolates tune. Uh, Super Defense Robots. Archfiend Ember, the first load of horror. And Herald of Pure Light, another foil. Four to one. To feel safe, I think they're going to need to pull at least seven. Because, you know, Metal Raiders actually in the reprints can have eight. It's pretty rare, but they can't have eight. Normally it would be seven most with the secret, but I have opened eight before. So seven, you'll feel pretty good about at least tying that one. Uh, eight, you'd feel pretty good about winning. And then nine, it's like, I don't think Metal Raiders, unless there's an error, is gonna get nine out of a booster box. Gigatech Wolf, we have a big eye. Oguchi, Sangan, get a Pequeno. Leo Gun, nothing, nothing. Huge, huge deficit right now. If they pull a Chicolates here, they're gonna be down in two categories and they're gonna be losing completely because 2-0, you win two categories, you win the whole video. And that means that, oh, the Chicolate, Chick Chicolates, Chicolates. This has taken the 2-0 lead like I was just talking about. The Chicolates is huge because now, if you're up 2 nothing, you can now call yourself the Chicolates right now. If it ended right now, would be able to call itself the number one channel mascot, which is massive. I mean, that is a huge deal. Let's be serious, okay? Here we go. Ancient Brain feel the pain. I and mean, they're feeling the pain. Lego, they don't even have a Bacano yet. Soggy. Mushroom Man, number two. We gotta get something. Crash Clown. Empress Judge. Witch's Apprentice. And Armin Lazard. Man, that Metal Raiders. This might be the worst box of all time so far. Judgment of the Light just pulled the number one card. They're up 1-0 in mascot pulls. They're up 4-1 in hollow pulls. Cheap, cheap, cheap. That's pretty cool as well. We have Shuffle. Benzie Fire Ferret. Swart Child, we have Shark Caesar, Division Fidel, Confronting the Sea, Spell Recycler. There's still hope, Metal Raiders. All you have to do is start actually pulling good cards, you know, because right now you haven't been doing that. One, two, three from the back. We have Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress, number one, King of Ghosts, Mornfin, Pale Beast, Rux, and 34, back at it. That is also a, uh, a mascot, so that could be considered. Armored Zombie, I mean, really a lot of Metal Raiders are, but we're sticking with Pequeno for now. Little Chimera. And the ultra rare barrel dragon. And that might actually take the lead for the value. I think metal Raiders might now be winning in value. It's going to be close. 
Depends on how much the 25th anniversary barrel dragon's worth, but it's got to be at least a dollar. That's an amazing card. That makes it four, two, and foils. Okay, it's getting interesting now. It's getting interesting. Judgment of the Light. Kingyo could really turn this around. One, two, three. Who will become the number one channel mascot? We have Robot, Majinki Turtle, Googly Eyes Drum Dragon, a Caesar Reversal. We have Limit Dragon, Zero Ort. We have Caesar, Bujinkan Narnation, Bujinkan Nation. There we go. And Star Seraph Sage. I don't know what I was saying. Back to Metal Raiders. They're hot. They got a Barrel Dragon last time. Can they get a secret rare to really turn this around? The Dweller in the bottom. Juggler of Blasts. The Cousin Moth. He became a Occu Beam. Doma. Oh, and there it is. The first Pequeno Moth has been bold. Let's go. That's big. They're now tied in mascots and sort of the deep seated. Okay, so four, two, and foils tied in mascots. And I think Metal Raiders has the edge on the price. So that's one to one to one because of the tie, you know, one, 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 zero, whatever you want to say for that one. But it's a tie. Spell Recycler, pretty huge. We got, oh, Chicolate strikes back to one. Judgment of the Light takes the lead again. Intercept Tomato is pretty awesome as well. Zoroort Agent, we got Moondance Ritual. And an ultimate rare, Bujente Susanoa, which is also sort of a meme card in and of itself. We've pulled many of these in ultimate rare. Not an amazingly expensive card, but it is an ultimate rare, so it's going to have some value. And then it adds to another foil, 5-2 in foils. Judgment of the Light has a stranglehold on the lead right now. This is pretty intense, okay? This is going back and forth. Need a Pequeno Moth, need a secret or something. Something like a secret and the other ultra would be good. The thing is, those, uh, I think, what did we pull first in terms of hollows? I can't remember what the first super was out of here. Oh, Kazi Jin. I was about to say, I thought it was Sui Jin. Then we pulled Kazi and let's see what it was. It was, uh, okay, I put it on the other side over here, which I don't normally do because I wanted to keep them separate. That's why I couldn't find it. Twin Headed Thunder Dragon and Kazi Jin. So, Two supers have been pulled, plus the ultra. It's 5-3 now. Judgment of the Light, you're going to need more foil pulls to stay ahead because Metal Raiders is from a booster box. They are pretty, you know, consistent with what you get out of there. Star Seraph, we have the sword. I mean, another Chickalates could be huge as well. Bajin Fidel, we have super defense. Bajin Incarnation, and oh, another hollow. Six supers. Chickalates is really battling for the W here for Galaxy Eyes Photon stuff. That's that's pretty fun. Woo, this is an intense battle. Metal Raiders, I mean, you're down three foils now. Like, you're going to need something big. The value is going to be close, which is going to be probably a determining factor in who wins this. Thunder Dragon, that's a nice card. Flame Cerberus, Aki Beam. Can we get another Pecanio Moth? Ground Attacker, Bug Roth, Mask of Darkness. Ancient Brain, feel the pain. Whew, man, Judgment of the Light with an epic performance so far. A third Chicolates could be huge. Let's see. Three from the back. Mecha Phantom Beast. Oh, third Chicolates. Ask and you shall receive. Junk Blader. That's big. 3 1 lead in the mascots. Reverse Glasses. Archbeam Palabrinth. And Spell Recycler. It is an absolute beatdown right now. Can Metal Raiders make an epic comeback? They're going to need to start hitting some three pointers right now. We have Bickery Bickery Box. Guiltia. The Immortal of Thunder. Kaminari Attack. Lava Battle Guard. Come on, baby. Stim Pack. Dark Elf. Heavy Storm, there we go, another foil. That's pretty nice. Okay, 6-4. They're creeping their way back. Judgment of the Light, it is not over for sure. You gotta keep pulling stuff. There's a lot of packs left though. There's a lot more potential on both sides. It's certainly not over. Wujingi Ward, we have Ophidion. Har 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 Harleyard, we have, okay, Intercept Tomato, very cool. Seize Reversal, Limit Dragon, Archfiend Eris. Umber Horror Willow the Wisp has returned. That's not going to do much for the battle. Metal Raiders, here we go. Dragon Piper, Bickery Bickery Box, Rex and Special, Jellyfish, Musician King, Tremendous Fire, Wing, we not Wing Karibo, Wing Crown, Water Monix, Fake Trap, and a Garnesia, Elephantis, Elephantis, whichever one you want to call it. That's five foils. It is making a furious comeback. They're only down by one in terms of foils. Value's probably pretty close. Mascots, it's a two mascot lead though for the Chicolate side. We have Nephethys, Monkey, Drum Dragon, Zara Ort, Reversal, Star Seraph Scout. We have Calibrator, Corrupted Keys, and a Traptix Trap Hole Nightmare. I forgot this was originally printed in Judgment of the Light. While this is not a mascot, this is a card we love thanks to our $1,000 investment. Really, it's the ultimate version, but still. 
This treated us super well. Trap Tricks, Trap Hole, Nightmare. We are a big fan of that one. And that makes seven foils. So uh, Metal Raiders, you're going to have to go over your max probably. Your max really is eight. So like that's max max. That's like really, really lucky. Thunder Dragon. That only happens in 25th anniversary. No other Metal Raiders. Swamp Battle Guard, Launcher Spider. We got White Magical Hat and Battle Steer. And it is not looking like you're going to do it at this rate. It is not looking like you're going to do it. One, two, three. Let's go. Sonic Boom. Uh, Yellow Dustin. Virginia Turtle, Flying Sea. Can we get another Chicolate to really put this thing away? Exceeds Agent, we have Brother of the Fire Fist Boar, and the Super Defense Robot Leo. We are down to maybe a quarter of each 24 pack lot or box, depending on which one you were. <sighs> Armored Lazard, Rainbow Flower, Tainted Wisdom. Nubatory, what's that mean again? Can't remember. Pale Beast Ruxin 34, also nice. Harpy Lady, Crass Cloud, not the Class Cloud, and Fake Trap. Guardian of the Labyrinth, Judgment of the Light. They're sitting pretty right now. They got the foil lead. They got the mascot lead. They might not even have the money lead, which would be pretty crazy. They have worse money, but they have better everything else, which could turn it all around. Intercept Tomato, the uh, atmosphere. Brother of the Fire Fist Caribou, we have number 104 Masquerade and Star Seraph Sage. Another foil can almost put a dagger in Metal Raiders for number of foils, and then it'll come down to if they can pull more Pequenos. A Pequeno here can really turn it around. Roaring Ocean Snake, come on, Seven Colored Fish, Paralyzing Potion, Mega Thunderball, Punishing Eagle, Blue Wing Crown, Ancient Lizard Forest, Ancient Lizard Forest, where am I getting that name? Forest and Destroyer Golem. Talking too fast today, I think. Look, I'm off my game today a little bit, so <laughs> don't hate on me too much. See, I almost threw those cards. All right, Armageddon Designator, the 10K, the Battles of Armageddon. Ooh, Elephant, we need to open some more of that soon. Flying Sea, Seraph Sword, we have Chimera Clad. Ujingi Ophidian, they're leaving the door open. It's not over yet. If they could get a Pequeno in one of these packs and be one away from being able to tie that category. Block attack. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this style of video where I've got all these categories, and up Mushroom Man number two. Uh, make sure to let me know. We might do something like this again with, uh, it doesn't have to be like mascots. It'd be something else. Uh, just any particular card. It'd be like Dark Magician Blue Eyes or something. But Milus Radiant and Trent, the Int. Okay, we're, man, four packs left of both. This is going to come down to the wire, guys. We have Bajingi Ward, Ophidion, Harleyan, Caribou, Unform, Landing, Vein Betrayer. We have Confronting the Sea and uh, Umbra Horror, Will of the Wisp. All right, seven total packs left. And it's, I mean, Chicolate's team, Team Chicolate's got a stranglehold on it. Let me know in the comments if you're Team Chicolate's Team Pequeno Moth. You got a Karu, Deep Sea Warrior. They really need Petite Moth. We have Hoshingen. And oh, secret rare thousand dragon. All right, there we go. See, that is not as good as the gay guardian, but it is still pretty good. That's six foils. They're only one back. Judgment of the Light has hit a cold streak. Could they come back here? They could come back with only three packs on each side left. Here we go. One more foil out of Judgment of the Light. That could really put it away. Sonic Boom, we have Dustin, Turtle, Calibrator, because they do have a big lead on the mascots. Intercept Tomato, Reversal, Archfiend. <sighs> It's coming down to the end. This is intense. Okay, Metal Raiders. Here we go. One, two, three. Ah, oh, don't ruin it. Battle Steer. We have Killer Needle. Insect, give us that Pequeno. Armored Zombie. Labyrinth Tank. Harpy Lady. Mass Sorcerer. And Crawling Dragon. Oh my gosh. Wow, this has gotten way more intense than expected. One Pequeno out of 22 packs. Just throwing that out there. Three, we got a play set at least to the Chicolates. One foil, and you can win this thing, Judgment of the Light. One foil, Umber Horror Ghoul, Fire Fair, Bujingi Warg, Atmosphere, Xyz Agent, Jujikaju, Jujikaju, we have Goatwing, V Salamander, Super Defense Robot. They've missed like the last seven packs or something. MRD, you can make an amazing comeback right here. This could be it, Skull Knight, come on. You need a foil and you need a Pequeno to make it really interesting. Disc Magician, Sagi the Dark Clown. We've not pulled many of those. Tremendous Fire, Big Eye, Cocoon of Evolution related to the Moth, Shield and Sword, and here we go, Lady Defe. One pack left of each. Judgment of the Light, you can end this thing right here. If you hit a foil, I think unless they get a double Pequeno pack, it would it's over. Let's see, we have Star Seraph Sage. Literally, a foil ends this. The Sword, Lighthouse, doesn't even matter how much the value is. We have Battlefield, a Battlefield. Battlefield, here we go, foil time. Oh, and there it is, a super rare number C-104, Umbral Horror Masquerade. Umbral Horror, I can't speak. That's eight foils. 
that means they have a two foil lead. So unless there's like an error pack in this last pack, they have a two foil lead and they have a two mascot lead. So we either need two Pequeno Moss and two foils. And that's like about, that's about the only way. They need something. Okay, last pack Metal Raiders. Here we go. Trent, Lego, Cybersaurus. He became a Soul Release. Oh, with the Pequeno Moth. Oh, they had one. Grande Moth as well. And a change of art ultra. If they didn't pull that foil, they might have won. Because that then it would have been the total value, which you guys can see right here. If Metal Raiders was ahead right there, and they got the foil and tied it, actually would have been a three-way tie. So it would have instead of it being a, a tie, that last super wins it for him. Oh my goodness. That turned out really intense. If you guys enjoyed that style video, make sure to let me know and make sure to subscribe for more content like this and like other things as well. Shout out to Tome Fo Show, Puff and Sudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Another Tie Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barning, Robert F. Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.